Hello and welcome to the Gaming News Roundup. My name is Amata and I'm going to give you all the latest in gaming as of the 8th of May 2012. Pre-orders of IO's interactive Hitman Absolution will be rewarded with their code for the game Hitman Sniper Challenge which is a spin-off title that will give players many more opportunities to pew 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 as Agent 47. This title was spotted in the latest issue of the US magazine Game Informer which carries an advert for the game which says replayable sniping mission really hope it's more than just you know mission singular <laughs> and an exclusive rifle of upgrades and awesome prize packages for top snipers. Now Sniper Challenge was trademarked back in January which kind of led to speculation that it might be the new premium quality Hitman game being developed by the studio. But it looks like this might be the major announcement that was teased yesterday by Square and IO coming for Hitman on May 10th. Now this was touted as a major announcement, so I'm kind of doubting that this is it, because that would be a serious abuse of the word major. You know, this is a nice little piece of info, good little spin-off game for those who want a bit more Agent 47 action, but it's hardly what you'd call the biggest update ever, so I assume that we'll be getting some more info on Thursday, because that is when the announcement is due. So hopefully this won't be revealed as that big uh, announcement that they were hyping up the other day because that would be a little bit disappointing, but I doubt that it is because they must know that this isn't really a major announcement. It's a nice announcement that will maybe put a smile on some people's faces, but not really major. EA has confirmed plans to launch a new Dead Space game next year during the current fiscal year ending March 31st, 2013. The publisher talked about the title during Investical last night when they said, At the foundation is another year of blockbuster brands. Madden NFL, FIFA, SimCity, Medal of Honor, Dead Space and Need for Speed as well as mobile hits like The Simpsons Tapped Out and Bejeweled. Now Game Informer also received a follow-up email from EA which added, There's no further information today but watch your several big product announcements from EA at E3 in June. While there's no real confirmation yet, Visceral Games does seem to be very much looking like it's going to be making a Dead Space 3. The game was seemingly first revealed last September by an Israeli news show featuring what appeared to be leaked artwork. So it looks very likely that Dead Space 3 is on its way, which I'm sure will please a lot of people. I haven't played Dead Space myself, one or two, but it's on my list. But um, Crimson, the other person doing this channel with me, has played it and I know it, Dead Space 2 especially counts among one of his favourite games. So I'm sure it will please him and many others to learn that Dead Space 3 is definitely on its well, seems like it's definitely on its way. No official confirmation yet, but I would be a bit surprised if this isn't one of their big announcements for E3 in June. So yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that and what hopes you have for the series. As I've said, I've not actually played Dead Space, so I can't really comment on what I would like, but I would just want a more psychological horror experience because that's the kind of horror game that I like. Anywho, next item. Star Wars The Old Republic has lost reportedly 400,000 subscribers. According to analyst reports, the MMO has currently has 1.3 million subscribers, which is a significant drop from the 1.7 million that they touted in February. Now, during an earnings call, EA Chief Financial Officer Ken Barker said, The substantial portion of the decrease for the Old Republic was due to lower numbers of trial players, upping the percentage of paying subscribers. Some of those casual customers have gone through a billing cycle and decided not to subscribe to the game. Now the CEO of EA has also said its performance right now is in line with Madden or The Sims but it's more important than Tiger Woods PGA Tour. So yeah, it looks like they've definitely taken a hit from the loss of these trial members but although 400,000 subscribers is a huge number of subscribers to lose they still have a fairly comfortable amount I mean 1.3 million isn't anything to be sneezed at really is it? And I suppose if it really is true that the percentage of actual people paying for the game, paying subscribers, has gone up. 
then they're not really too worried. Obviously they will probably would prefer that more people who took the free trial decided to subscribe to the game, but I don't think they'll be feeling this hit too badly. If they continue to lose this many subscribers, then I think they'll be worried. But right now I think they're just being very sensible and just basically saying, yeah, we've lost the trial people. But because of that, the number of paying people has gone up. So although they've lost the subscribers, it seems like the MMO is still doing fairly well. Which is not really surprising, I'm sure, um, as anyone who's ever played or even seen The Old Republic. It is a fairly solid MMO and of course it helps that it's Star Wars. So hopefully they won't continue to lose subscribers because it's always a shame to see MMOs go down the toilet and it seems like it happens more often with MMOs than other games. So I don't really see that happening myself, but we'll have to see. Anyway guys, that's it for the gaming news roundup today. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions on anything that I've discussed here today in the video. Your hopes for Dead Space and all that good stuff and just generally your thoughts on what's going on in the gaming industry right now. As important as it is to cover the big titles and all that stuff, it's also important to see what is going on within the community and that kind of thing. So if there's anything you feel is worth mentioning or anything like that, then you know, feel free to leave a comment or send us a message. I definitely want to hear from you. Anyway guys, like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you again soon.